Hey folks, ET here coming at you with the next part of our Trady Ticks crash course, which is our intraday scanner right here, also known as Flash. We have a bunch of filters and a bunch of things to go through, so let's go ahead and jump in. First off, our advanced filtering, very simple. Min, max, price, volume, and minimum change. Don't use these too often, although I do, I do use minimum price of 15 pretty frequently. One of the favorite ones we like to look at here is our, is our divergences. If we have an algo flow divergence, that's something that we look at every morning when, when I show you flash scanner in our morning videos. Lots of information here to look at. Lots of things to click to start drilling down on plays for things that you are specifically looking for. I know a lot of folks like to use the strat stuff for sure. I personally like volume shelf uh, launch pad when I'm looking for things as I'm going through. Pretty simple. You don't always get a ton of information, but that is the point to drill it down a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and reset and we're going to go back to our divs. I'm going to talk about those for just a second. All right. And we're going to and we're going to work work our way through there as we go. So here are our divs. Algo flow divergences, and we're just going to take a look and see what we see down here as we go there. So this is what we look at basically every morning when we do the morning video, and it just gives you a one day or five day divergence. So that's your short term versus long term. I generally do not look at the indices or things like that. And sometimes I will say it takes a while for these things to pan out as they go. So you might see a really long divergence happening on CCJ. And it might go up for a little bit before it finally goes down. So what I'm looking for each day is really, do we see a trend in what we're going and what's going on, especially at the end of the day? A lot of times you'll start to see a bunch of positive divs on a negative day, and the next morning we gap up. But you're looking, what you want to look for is positive divs in things that might help us gap up a little bit, like the Mag 7, things like that. You want to look through and see that strength in, in some of those tickers that help carry the market upwards, not necessarily inverse things as you go along there, right? It's a lot of times when you start to see when you start to see bullishness, even though this show is bearish right now in metals and stuff and energy, then we might see a bit of a downturn historically. Those things do well when the market isn't going uh, when the when the market is, is going down. A lot of times metals and stuff go up. So that's one important thing to look at. We're going to go ahead and reset here and kind of go through and look. Just see what we see. We have bullish scans and bearish scans. And this is just giving you information as you go along. Why is it bullish? Why is it bearish? What percent it's down? What is its relative volume? I like to sort by relative volume a lot of times to see what's getting more volume than it usually does. Very simple, right? Come over here and you can see the same thing. We get to see our relative volume, except for it brought it brought up some of our bullish scans on there for us as well. Now, strat scans are interesting to me. I actually sometimes play these when I see them. All right. So when I'm looking at these, when I'm looking at these, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is it tells you uh, your entry, your ex, your entry, your take profit, right? And your and your stop loss of where it is. So if you're if you're shorting something and it goes up, that's where it goes. So we don't necessarily uh, need to don't necessarily need to figure out figure that out on our own. Let's go ahead and go back up here though and type our 15 in because we do not want to keep looking at all of these tickers that are below. So that's a little bit better view for us. I very much like to look at these sometimes. They could be quick plays. You still need to do your DD and maybe search through to see what they look like. Do they have a nice net flow? Things like that. Snow right there was a long, has a nice net flow, right? Chart has been consolidating for a really long time if you go out to the weekly, been just staying in a range. So it looked like it, it could look like a decent long and it pretty much tells you this is the price it's at right here all right this is where you could take some profit and right here this is this this is where your stop loss would trigger if you were if you were longing that all right gives you a little bit of a percent that percent there so simple i very much like those strat scans a little bit there is so much information here i would highly advise just kind of going through and finding what you are specifically looking for right you can go through and you can look for low fl low float runners if you're a penny dgen right you can you can look for your moving average crossovers to see to see what you're looking for specifically there 
flags and pennants, right? Pretty simple to look at. You can go through and see what you see there. It's very, very, very simple, right? And this is your intraday scanner, all right? This is your live, this is your live scan throughout the day to find plays as it's going along. I do keep a very close eye on the on the divs as they go along, and I will I will ping I will ping those things as I go just to see if there's anything interesting. I'll go into the Discord and take a look at its take a look at its actual algo flow, or I'll click on it right here because I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to ping the bots if I don't want to. So Timus right here is is saying a, a nice five day divergence. And funny enough, we click on it, and it's diverging actually pretty well from its net flow. Price is going down, puts are being sold, calls are still up here, and so that's a nice divergence. There might be something that I might want to dig into and look at. It's that simple, folks. It's a very powerful tool for intraday. What you want to do is take your time and search out what you, what strategy you are looking for through this. It would take hours to go through every single one and click on every single thing. But what you really want to do is find what you are specifically looking for and what strategy you're trying to use paired with all the rest of the data on the platform. That is all for now. Everybody have a good day and stay safe out there.